Coach Luke been doing a good job of just rotating everybody in and out. Uh, I feel like we just we just needed to get on one page. I feel like we went on the same page. But this week we've been practicing on staying on the same page. Everybody staying on to the ball, hustling to the ball. Everybody's just doing the right thing. What do you mean not on the right, not on the same page? Like, I feel like we just couldn't get that, we just couldn't get that groove that we needed to, you know what I'm saying, get that push. Cohesion, chemistry? Yeah. Okay, Dash, let's give you another shot. And then after you, we'll go to uh, Mark Weiser. Just any better at Still very, very good. Yeah, you still like breaking up. All right, Mark, and followed by Jake Rowe. Hey, Justin, I want to ask you about kind of getting back to, you know, the shape you're in after missing games last year. Uh, how much of a challenge was that? And, and uh, you know, what, what did you have to overcome? I mean, it was a bit challenging. I feel like the corona helped me a lot. Like, I went down to train in Miami. And I was just like, I was just working. I knew I had a chip on my shoulder. I had to get back in that star five, and I just did what I had to do to work. Why, why Miami? What was you're from uh, Cedar Grove, right? What, what, did you, what was your connection down there? Uh, I just had a, a, a old friend who, uh, who I used to train with up here that moved down, and I just went down there and stayed with him the whole the whole quarantine. Okay, thank you. Uh, Justin, um, kind of similar to that question. I mean, you you had to kind of wait your time sophomore knee injury then the neck injury last year what what it what does it feel like at this point to kind of be in the position you're in to have this opportunity as a senior and also kind of in during quarantine where were you one of the guys that was able to drop a bunch of weight and and kind of change uh how you're put together during that time I mean yeah I was one guy because when I left when I left before uh spring break I was like 340 summer came back like 325 I told myself I wanted to get to 325 and stay at 325 because I felt like I could move best at 325. And what about, you know, how you're feeling now that, you know, you're a senior and, and this opportunity is here after kind of all you've been through with the neck injury and the knee injury as a sophomore? I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I feel like I got all my confidence back. I'm just ready to play ball. All right, let's go to Chip Towers and followed by Jed May. Good to see you, Justin. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to revisit your neck injury just a little bit. I, you know, when you hear neck injury, that you know that as a father, that scares you to death. I, I just wonder, was that uh, was it that one of those type of injuries where where can you just back up on uh, kind of what happened? Was that the type of thing where you guys had to visit whether you would be able to continue your football career? I mean, well. Well, headed headed to the headed to the hospital, the uh, South Carolina game. I was in my mind, the whole thing just going through my mind is playing, 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 getting back, get back. But once Mr. Ron told me everything was going to be good, and I still had another chance to play, I just took the re rehab and just stuck with it and did what I had to do. What What did they finally determine? What was it a sprain or was there a a, a, a cracked vertebrae or something in there? Uh, I feel like I don't remember what Mr. Ron said, but I'm not sure. Okay, but it would, clearly it wasn't something that was would be threatening your long-term health. Yeah, it wasn't something that would keep me out for long. Thank you. Uh, hey, Justin, um, I know Kirby has, has talked a lot since the Arkansas game about, you know, a lot of – some of the offensive problems weren't necessarily DeWan's fault, guys missing assignments and things like that. How much of that, you know, was there on the offensive line and how much of that do you think was due to, you know, the new the first game with the new offense and stuff like that? I mean, I feel like I'm not just going to blame it on DeJuan. I feel like it was all on the whole offense. I mean, we practiced that each and every day to be the best, but we didn't come out there at our best. Okay, let's go to Connor Riley, followed by Griffin Callahan. Hey, Justin, is it is it hard to develop sort of that cohesion that you need on the offensive line when you are rotating in and out, sort of not every play, but every sort of driver series? I mean, no, I mean, Coach, I mean, I feel like Coach Luke, they're doing that because of the whole corona situation. I mean, you never know with injuries, with corona, you never know what's going to happen. So you always just got to have that rotation. Yeah, hey, Justin, uh, I just want to see, you know, do you feel uh, sort of a sense of urgency uh, coming out in this game since the team got off to such a slow start offensively last week? Yeah, I feel like, you know, we don't pick it up a little bit. We 
we feel confident and we feel like we're ready. Okay, let's go to Greg Poole, followed by uh, WTVC Channel 9 in Chattanooga. Greg, you have a question? How about WTVC Channel 9? All right, uh, we'll open it up to questions from anyone. Hey, Justin, kind of following up on the rotation of the offensive line, do you see any difference when Warren is in at center versus, uh, versus Trey being in there? No, I mean, no, I don't feel, I don't feel it. I feel like Warren come in confident, just as confident as Trey come in. Hey, Justin, uh, what did you make of Jamari Sire's performance in the first game? What are you sort of seeing from him at now playing at that left tackle spot in, going into the season? I feel like I feel like Arkansas was just his first game at left tackle, but I feel like, like as we as we practice and keep going on and on, going against the defense, we just gonna get better and better. Justin, this is uh, Chip again. Uh, t talking about Auburn uh, a little bit, uh, you know they've been well known for their defensive line, especially last year. And Rodney Garner's still over there lining those guys up. But just what's the challenge uh, taking on Auburn this weekend and that defensive line in particular? I mean, you know, those boys play hard. Those boys, them boys, look, they look good. They look good on them. They look like they're in shape, and they feel like I feel like they're just gonna go every play. So we gotta come with our A game. Got time for one more question. Hey, Justin, do you have any? Justin, I was gonna ask if you have any thoughts on your former teammate Cade Mays trying to play this season for Tennessee. I mean, I feel like the, like the whole situation. I just feel like. I don't got nothing to say, but I mean, I feel like K K is still one of my dogs. But I mean, with that situation, I feel like that's just something he had to handle. 